What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in Rustboro City, and, uh, well, as you can see, it's Twilight. Not the, not the movie. Just Twilight and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna be checking out a few things right here in Rustboro City. Things of importance. All that crud. Like this guy right here. If you talk to him, he'll actually, uh, tell you by that determined expression. That limber way you move. And uh, you're a well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a trainer. No, wait. Don't say a word. I can say I could just tell by looking at you. I'm sure this. Uh, I'm sure that you will be capable of you of putting this HM to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go right ahead. And there we go, guys. First thing on the list, we get ourselves the HM01, which is cut. Many of you guys already know. It cuts down trees and all that stuff. So that's one thing uh, that we can actually use right here. Now, the other thing that we can actually find is, uh, well, quite a few things. Now, again, I'm going to be taking a tour of Rust Bro City and then going straight to the Pokemon Gym because there's no need for training right here. As you can see, this guy is like, every Pokemon has a special gift or skill it could use. This is called an ability, which we already know. Now, I'm trying to look for a person that actually gives me items right here. And, uh, well, she's not telling me anything right here that I, I, I need to, well, things that, not, nothing of importance, if I should say. And she's saying, oh, it's so, it's just so hard. What's hard? Do you, do you even need to ask? Planning meals every day. It's a hard to come up with different ideas at day after day. This is true because, uh, the meal plans. Meal prep for me, that's a, uh, well, actually, it's just a set schedule right there for the meal preps and all that stuff, so... Yeah, I, I, I can see what she's talking about. Now, let's go right ahead and move on right here and see if we can actually find something else of importance. I don't know, anything else of importance and all that stuff? Uh, let's see, talk to this guy, and he's like, for my own Pokemon, I give them perfectly suited nicknames. It's my expression of uh, originality. Yes, that is it. Okay, so do I. And, uh, well, she's like, but giving the same Pikachu to Shroom Shroomish doesn't seem right. Although, I do understand the importance of uh, giving familiar nickname to your Pokemon. Okay, that really doesn't... Yeah, I, I, right now, I'm kind of wasting time right now. I, again, I thought I was going to be finding a lot of items right here. Something I don't even know. Let's see. Oh, Detector Mode. Yes, I've used it. I've used it before. And yes, we will be able to find rare Pokemon with rare abilities. Or rare moves and all that stuff. I still haven't found a Pokemon with that kind of stuff. And, uh, let's see. Uh, nothing right here. Talk to this girl. She doesn't want to share her room. <laughs> she doesn't want to share her room with her uh, with her little brother. Of course, I had to do that at one point, sharing a, a room with my brother. Not until I hit puberty. That's when I really wanted my privacy and all that stuff. So, let's move on right here. As you can see, this is uh, home to the trainer school. So, I think I should just go in there and see, uh, take a good peek at what, it, what it's all about. Let's see, this guy. Hey, I'm not a weird guy or a weird man. I'm the head of this school. To prove that, I'll share some knowledge with you. I'll explain about the various badges uh, you can get in the Hoenn region. Do I really need to know? I think I've already... Yeah. I'm already familiar. A bit... Yeah, he feels a little bit bored <laughs> and everything. Whatever. Okay, so he's a little bored and uh, unfamiliar with all that stuff. And again, guys, I just want to say, excuse the lagginess of this whole thing right here. Yeah, I know, I know. But it is what it is. Getting the American version of this whole uh, walkthrough right here. As you can see, talk to this guy right here. He'll actually give you the Quick Claw... Which is actually needed for any kind of uh, slower Pokemon you may have right here. I don't even know. Slower Pokemon and all that stuff. Don't have that. And I don't think they're going to be giving us any more items right here. So that is that. And I believe if you go right here, you'll actually be able to trade a Pokemon. Let's see. Oh, she knows a lot about a Pokemon right there. The Gym Leader Roxanne. And, uh, okay. They're just explaining how if you actually go to the trainer school... You might become a gym leader, and uh, I, I failed to see that. And, uh, well, there's not, not not anything right there. I mean, don't you need the experience in order to become a gym leader? I'm just saying. So, here we go. Going into this house right here, and uh, what does she have to say? Employees, Devon Comp Corporation. Of course, we might find somebody in here with an item. Trying to look for him, and oh, this might be the guy. My dad's a real ace at the Devon Corporation, I'll have you know. It's no wonder I'm an ace myself. Here, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you something that an ace trainer like me uses. And here we have the Floatstone. And, uh, well, we'll probably fi figure that out. And, uh, well, everything keeps on getting... Okay, it's halved and everything. Now, once you go upstairs right here, and go back downstairs right here, you'll see that... <laughs> Homie got a little fatter. He's like, for some reason, I put on some weight recently. 
No, buddy, you probably eat the whole thing right here. The whole, the whole refrigerator and all that stuff. And uh, homie here actually gives us a premier ball. Nothing too special. You can actually get them in any kind of uh, any Pokemon around here, and they will actually. Well, it, you'll get them around any Pokemon around here if you buy ten Pokeballs or more. I think that's what the idea is. And, uh, let's see, I think that's it right there for them. And, uh, well, here's the Pokemon Gym that we will be going to. And if you go right here, I think this is where you're actually going to find a Pokemon trainer that can trade Pokemon. You see, are all sorts of... In all sorts of places, there are all sorts of Pokemon and people. I find that fascinating. It inspires me to go out to all sorts of places. That is true. And if you talk to this guy, do you have a nickname for your Pokemon? I gave cool name mine. Let's see... But when I call my Pokemon by that name, people laugh at me. Is it okay, or if it's okay, do you want to trade your Slack off for my Makuhita? Now, I would I would get this Makuhita. The only problem is I didn't capture a Slack off. Of course, you can actually capture a Slack off in the, uh, well, in the Petalburg uh, Forest, yeah. Okay, so the next destination right here is the Rustboro City Gym. As many of you guys already know, look at that. She's just waiting for us right here. Hello. You must be a new challenger. I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro City Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so I can apply, uh, or I can apply in battle all I've learned in the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Trainer School. If you defeat me in battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge. I look forward to seeing you as a challenger. Until then, farewell. Oh damn. Okay, and. Uh, one thing, one thing's for sure, guys. They really improved on the gym, the quality of the gym, or how they made the gym around here. It looks like a goddamn museum right here, and, uh, well, first and foremost, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can give you some, or I can sure give you some winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon, ch the Pokemon Championship together. If your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. And that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader here, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand water or grass-type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. Okay, alrighty. So that is going to be our destination right now, going to be battling Roxanne, the gym leader, and uh, we do have a Pokemon for this, which is Sage of the Halo, and uh, luckily us, he, he is a grass-type Pokemon, so this should be a breeze of a battle right here. So as you can see, don't take us uh, gym trainers, uh, don't take us gym trainers lightly, I'll show you why we're better. Alrighty. So here we go, our first official battle right here against Youngster Josh, and he'll be coming out with his Geodude right here. And, uh, oh, look at that, Geodudes all over the place. You can actually find them in the next route right here. But here's Sage of the Halo, ready to kick some butt, and it's close to evolution, so Mega Drain should be the, the, the thing right here. Look at that. Mega Drain nearly beats him, but of course, Geodude does have its sturdy effect, which, you know, you don't want to mess with that right there. So let's go right ahead and uh, do another... Mega Drain for the win. Look at that. Okay, look at that. And just realize this, guys. Rock type Pokemon, yeah. Very, very physical and all that stuff. And luckily for us, we do have an experience share that is actually sharing the experience with everybody on this team. So there's no need for me to use Ralts right now. I hope so. I don't even know. So here we go with the Mega Drain. And uh, there we go. This guy did not have Sturdy at all. Oh, yeah. And uh, who needs a potion when you got Mega Drain? Look at that. Look at that. And uh, Poochiana grows to level 9. Zigzags grows to level 8. And uh, nobody else does. You were good. You were too good for me. Yeah, probably. Alrighty, so let's move on right here. We got a trainer waiting for us. And, uh, well, let's see. Actually, we really don't need anything else. We just need to battle this guy right now. Now, in Pokemon Emerald, if you guys remember, they put on a lot of emphasis emphasis on uh, double battling. Right here is just the norm, just like in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. You know, you're going to be battling trainer one by one. I think there's probably one or two gyms out there that you can actually battle uh, or do double battles and all that stuff. So, 
you know, just giving you a heads up, there is a gym where you can actually battle uh, two, uh, two gym leaders at one time. That's probably like the only time you're ever going to do that. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and use Quick Attack. For the win. Oh, yes. And, uh, well, look at that. No pain, no gain. Gaia number one. <laughs> Calling him Gaia number one. Gaia is growing to level nine and finally learned to teleport, a move that we may or may not need sooner or later or something like that. So that is two trainers down. I believe there's one more. Yes, there is. Now, we can skip her, but kind of don't want to. So let's go right ahead and battle her. I'll make you feel the power of the number two trainer at this school. <laughs> Who's the number one trainer? So here we go. School kid Georgia, you know, from the state of Georgia, coming out, going up against Judy right here. And here is Sage of the Halo, ready to kick some ass right now. So let's go right ahead and use a Mega Drain. Oh, yeah. Feel the wrath of Sage of the Halo right there. Now, if you guys are, like, barely new to this whole episode right here, if you guys are wondering why I called, or why I'm calling my Trico Sage, of the Halo, it's because of Ronin Warriors, if you guys haven't caught any of those episodes. It's a childhood uh, kind of anime that I like to watch. And, uh, let's see. We just defeated Georgia. Yeah, you are very, very disappointing because you're only using one type of Pokemon. I got the right Pokemon for this whole stuff right here. Now, who's next? Oh yes, the gym leader. Okay, so here she is, waiting for us and all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. Before I do anything, I gotta do this. Like, I'm, I'm looking at Bulbapedia because, yes, Draven has a... Yeah, Draven, Draven forgets about all these things. And, uh, let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Damn, that's a, that's so many times that we have actually beaten them. Or battling them or whatever. Okay, so first gym leader right here is Roxanne. And like many gym leaders, she is a rock-type gym leader. And, uh, well, actually, we don't need a potion right now. We just need to be battling and all that stuff. So... Let's go right ahead and battle Roxanne. Let's see. Look at that. The Pokemon uh, fossil that we usually, or that we saw over it in Nacreen City, I think. Just as I expected. I knew you and your Pokemon would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon? Oh yeah, she's using her pose. Oh yes. So here it is, guys, battling our very, very first gym leader of the Hoenn region, gym leader Roxanne. And, uh, well, she's going to be coming out with a Geodude right here. Look at that. Okay, Sage of the Halo. Okay. Let's go. And, uh, of course, we got 10 Mega Drains right here, so I'm not trying to waste them all. As you can see, Geodude right here has a sturdy technique, so you can't just hit it with one hit. And, uh, oh, damn. So my speed has fallen. So I gotta go with a Mega Drain again. This will actually heal my Sage. Because I already know that Geodude's gonna, like, heal up right now. So here we go again. Mega Drain for the win. And that is how you do it. Who needs Super Potions when you got Mega Drain? Hell yeah, look at that. Okay. And, uh, well. I'm gonna go with Zigzags right here. Growing levels and all that stuff. And here she's going to be coming out with her Nose Pass, and, uh, well, let's see what Nose Pass can do right here. Nose Pass is, is a very tanky Pokemon, so hit it with Water-type attacks, Fighting-type attacks, and anything like that. It's it's definitely going to do its thing right there. As you can see, it didn't take everything of Nose Pass, or n what Nose Pass has, and, well, they're just going to beefing up their, they're going to be beefing up their defense right here. So here we go again, Mega Drain, hopefully for the win. Yeah, buddy. That is how you do it. Sage of the Halo. Victorious. And it nearly grows to level 16. And look at that. Poochiana, without doing anything, growing another level and learning Bite. And, uh, well, just like that. So, I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. And we get ourselves a buttload of money. Hell yeah. Okay, so what do you have to say? I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that the trainers receive this uh, if they defeat the gym leader. Please accept this official Pokemon League badge, the Stone Badge. So there it is, guys. Our very first badge, and it actually looks like a badge right there. Bam, okay, so here we are. First badge in. 
The stone badge enables a Pokemon to use the HM move cut outside of battle. All Pokemon uh, up to level 20, even those you get in trades, will obey you. And please take this with you. We get ourselves a, the TM39 Rock Tomb, which is a very good Rock type move. And, uh, well, Rock Tomb not only inflicts damage to your uh, dropping rocks, but it also lowers the target's speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches a move to the Pokemon, and you can use it as many times as you want, so please try it out. Okay. Okay, so that is us winning our very first gym battle right there, and, uh... Well, again, I'm sorry for the lagginess of this game right here, guys, but at least we're getting some footage right now. So that's our first victory, and let's see what this guy has to say. Whoa, that's a breathtaking victory! My cheering must have worked! Not really. Great. Check your trainer card. The stone badge should be uh, recorded on it. In other words, you've reached the first step on the stairs of the championship. Very promising. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go right ahead and uh, take a look at that, uh, that, that badge. So as you can see right here, our very first badge doesn't look that bad right there. And, uh, well, we're only getting started right here, guys. We're going to pause it right here. Um, uh, stay tuned in the next episode we're gonna be doing a lot more maybe even capturing a new Pokemon here and there I don't even know I can't tell the future but yes guys stay tuned in the next episode we will be, we will be continuing our adventure right here see you guys <laughs>